hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel we are here bright and early today's video is going to be a little bit different guys i wanted to bring you guys along on a day in my life type of thing i get a ton of questions on how i create my content organize my day and all that good stuff so i wanted to share a little behind the scenes with you guys it is just after eight o'clock kids are downstairs having their breakfast before they start their online school and I am getting ready for my day because it's quite busy in the morning. I have a Zoom um, call really early and then I have to create some content. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. We're almost at 50k so hit the subscribe button and also let me know how your day is going. Leave a comment down below. So to start off I'm going to do a little skincare. Um, nothing too crazy in terms of makeup. I'm going to go pretty light. It's really early right now but I need to be a little bit more presentable you guys see these little bags under the eyes um in the morning I like to use like a micellar water or something like that I don't normally go in with like cleanser or anything this one is from Burt's Bees and a portion of this video is sponsored by Burt's Bees I am really excited to be working with them again in 2021 um I did work with them in uh December of last year which was exciting I'm always really happy to partner up with incredible brands. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this. And this micellar water, I did talk about it in my winter skincare routine. If you guys want more details on it, I will link it up here for you guys to check it out. But it's a really gentle um, micellar water. It doesn't irritate the skin, but really just kind of removes any impurities. For my serum today, I'm just going to take a little bit of the niacinamide from The Ordinary. I need it for hydration. We are full on winter here in Canada and you guys know my skin gets very dry. So all of the moisture that I can get is really important throughout the day. So I'm just applying that. It's a really nice serum. A little bit sticky when you first apply it, but it absorbs nicely and then i'm going to do a little bit of moisturizer this one is from biosins it's their squalene and omega repair cream i've been really enjoying biosins skincare lately so i have a ton of product that i'm kind of playing around with and this is a really kind of thick moisturizer that helps my skin stay pretty hydrated throughout the day um, I'm going to be taking the Burt's Bees Concealers. This is the Concealer in Shade Tan and Tan Sand. I do like to mix these two shades together. I'm taking the lighter shade, which is tan, and I'm going to apply that right under my eyes like so. I really want to get a bit of a brighter under eye, look a little bit more awake. So we're going to apply that. And what I like about this concealer is that it is very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So I'm applying the darker shade right on top just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural. And I like to apply it right here on my smile lines to brighten up that area a little on my chin. Basically anywhere that I have a little bit of redness, I'm gonna apply that concealer. Sometimes I get a bit of redness right between my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. I like to blend it with like a nice dense brush. And I'm going over this little pimple that I have here, but nothing too major. Again, I'm going for a very like soft type of look today. So this concealer is great for that. If you want just like an everyday concealer that's not heavy and still allows your skin to look like skin, this is a really great product right here. It doesn't leave my skin feeling heavy and it doesn't emphasize on my dry patches, which I already have on my skin. It actually goes pretty seamless. So I quickly did my eyebrows off camera. You guys have seen me do this a ton of times. I will link down below a video so you guys can check it out. But I'm gonna go on with this blush over here. It's called Toasted Cinnamon. It's so beautiful. And what I actually like to use this blush as is a bronzer. It's like a really, really great consistency. And it's quite pigmented, so I like to kind of brush off the excess product here and go on look at that Oof. it just gives me like enough warmth and it blends beautifully you could definitely obviously wear this as a blush which sometimes I do but I do like it as a bronzer 
So for blush, I'm taking this one over here. It's called Fresh Apricot and it's such a pretty warm tone. Look at that, ooh, nice and peachy. I'm just gonna take that on a bigger brush and apply that. See, these are, these are really pigmented, but it's so wearable, the color. I find it really, really nice and wearable. So you can go pretty light-handed with these colors because they are pretty rich and um, quite pigmented. I'm gonna put that a little bit on the nose too. And it just looks like a nice flush. Like it's so nice and natural, really like it. And even though these are powder products, it doesn't look dry on my skin at all. It still looks really, really soft. And now I'm gonna take the defining eyeliner. This is in the shade Brown. And I'm gonna take that on my upper lash line. I like to do this to add a little bit more intensity to my um, eye makeup. Something very soft, but it definitely makes a difference, especially when you're going for like that very no makeup makeup kind of look. It looks really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. And I'm gonna take the Burt's Bees Mascara. This is the Volumizing Mascara, and this is in a deep brown or black brown color, I believe. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a few coats of that. This is what the wand looks like. It's quite large. So I like to look down and apply this mascara. This one will definitely give you quite a lot of volume on your lashes. I like to get to the base of the lash and really kind of pull and wiggle. So there are my lashes. As you guys can see, there's quite a bit of volume. They just separate really nicely and become like wispy almost. So for my lips, I'm keeping it very soft. I'm taking the Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Fig. That's the color there. It's just gonna give me like a nice kind of wash on the lips. Nothing too crazy and bright but I am gonna add a little bit of gloss on top because I love their lip oil. I will show you guys in a second, but see that color? It's so pretty. It does have this shimmer, and normally I'm not the type of person that likes shimmery products, but this is so subtle. It just creates this like glow on your lips, but very wearable. Look at that. Oh, it's so hydrating so smoothing on the lips but adds a nice wash of color and this color is like perfect for this time of the year has like this minty cooling sensation also and then i'm gonna add a little bit of their lip oil this is my favorite product from Burt's bees like this has been saving my lips all winter i love it it's their hydrating lip oil i have a ton of them all over my house and um I'm gonna apply that just on top, just like that. Oh yeah, it's the best. Not sticky, so hydrating. Look at that, Ooh, I love it. And this one, they have a couple of different um, flavors. This is sweet almond and I just love it. to wear you know what i think we're gonna go with this sweater because it's my fave so here is my outfit of the day um i went with this chunky knit sweater from zara the jeans we changed because the other ones was a big fat fail i don't want to talk about it i have these ones on from aritzia and uh, yeah, still got my slippers on. I normally would be in sweats, but because I'm leaving the house shortly, um, I thought I'd just get dressed right away. And then right when I'm done my Zoom meeting, I have to head out real quickly to the store. But this is what we have on today. So I'm gonna come in natural lighting right here, just in front of my window to show you guys what my makeup is looking like. Oh. 
my little sleeping mask is right there <laughs> but um this is what it's looking like something very soft and natural i love the way that the lip color turned out and uh, everything just looks soft focus which is what i was going for so i will link all the products that i mentioned down below in the description box so definitely check it out and thank you so much to Birdsby for partnering with me on this video also let me know in the comment section what's your go-to Birdsby's product right now i'm recommending this lip combo right over here and the blush absolutely is a must-have <laughs>to mention this is my scent of the day it is replica by the fireplace i love this so much it's really cold today super snowy and this just likes ooh. and i'm getting ready for my zoom call now i'm just gonna do it in my room today the kids are downstairs it can get a little bit noisy with their online um school so when i do have some zoom calls and stuff i tend to do it here i have my little notebook here which i will be taking notes and my pen the zoom call is going to start in about 10 minutes i want to say so before that i'm just kind of going over all of my emails i do like to browse very quickly when i wake up but i tend to answer them after like the kids are settled and all that stuff so now that they are like doing their thing i'm gonna go ahead and answer emails that i have pending normally there are quite a few emails to go through <laughs> so i'm gonna be doing that before my zoom call starts because i'll probably be on here for about an hour and then um finally heading downstairs to record a youtube video as you guys can see it's not a big space but it does the job i have my setup my lights my camera everything all ready and good to go and out don't have to like take it down put it back up which is like the beauty of having a dedicated filming space eventually we really want to like redo the basement so this uh filming space can be a little bit larger but this is the background that you guys always see lots of kind of mess going on always doesn't matter how much I clean it, there's always going to be mess, PR boxes, and all of that stuff. I am going to start filming. I'll probably be here for about two hours. I normally <laughs> take a little while to set up, organize everything, and then actually sit down and film. So it's definitely a lot more time consuming. You guys see a video for like 10, 20 minutes, but the recording of it is probably like an hour, an hour and a half. And um, I definitely want to do more vlogs like this, more casual videos. So comment down below if you guys want to see more of those, those types of videos. And if you're wondering, I did have something to eat real quick before I came downstairs. <laughs> so I have had a little breakfast and I normally don't eat like large breakfast during the week. It's more on the weekend when um, the entire family sits down to have breakfast. We have brunch on Saturdays and Sundays usually, but during the week, I usually keep it very light like I'll have some fruits and stuff like that and I'm trying to stay away from bread which I really love.
wrap for the first video. I'm actually gonna take a quick break to get a bite to eat and make some lunch for the kids. Then go on to my second video before I have to leave the house. <sighs> yeah, that's how it goes. This is this is my, my normal routine right here, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go and grab a little lunch. We are done with filming. I am done, I'm done, I'm done. I actually was filming for about, in total, like setting up, taking down, having lunch, all that. It's been like four and a half hours. So you see how the time just kind of flies by when you are creating content. I am not gonna do any Instagram content today. I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow actually before I start editing. I'll take some Instagram pictures uh, because I am a little bit in a rush that's going to be handled tomorrow, but everything was good. I'm happy with the content and editing is going to be tomorrow. take a chill pill on that i am ready to unwind i'm actually going to take a shower wash off all my makeup and uh, get in my pajamas relax and probably watch a little movie before i go to bed and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video there'll be lots more vlog style videos coming in 2021 so stay tuned for that and it was just a great way to show you guys how my day to day life is like it's always busy there's always something going on so hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave your comments down below also thank you so much to birds bees for partnering with me on this video everything will be linked below so check the description box and i will see you guys on the next video ciao